The vibrant center of Phuket's nightlife is Bangla Road, sometimes referred to as the non-Bangla or Bangla walking street by many. For many years, those looking for an exciting night out have been drawn to this lively strip in the busy Patong Beach neighborhood. Neon lights, bustling bars, and a diverse mix of locals and visitors seeking an unforgettable experience make this town come alive at night. Three separate areas make up Bangla Road, each with its own special charm, the club zone. The most well-known nightclubs in Phuket are concentrated in this region, which is the one that is farthest from the beach and close to Rat Uthit Road and Jung Silin Shopping Center. The celebration never ends there, and it's where the pulse beats. The Go-Go Bar midsection. You'll enter the world of the Go-Go Bars as you head towards the beach. The excitement of the night permeates the air here as neon signs flicker. The beach end of Bangla Road is the most laid-back area, with businesses offering everything from quick food to souvenirs and beer bars. It's the ideal location for relaxing, and taking in the sea breeze. Every night, beer bars, rooftop bars, nightclubs, live music venues, those renowned go-go bars, incredible tattoo parlors compete for supremacy in the nightlife scene. Phuket never fails to astound tourists. Depending on the season and level of popularity, the center of focus has moved up and down Bangla Road over the years, but it's still worth taking a look at Patong's always shifting nightlife. There are smaller but frequently less expensive beer bars along the alleys known locally as Soy's on either side of the Padong Walking Street, as it is well known. Naturally, charming women will greet you with a broad smile wherever you walk on Bangla Walking Street and invite you to sit, have a drink, and engage in a few goofy pub games. Of course, men, women, and couples are all welcome. The street that runs from the seaside to Rat Uthit Road close to Jung Silin Shopping Mall, is called Bangla Road. During the day, it is a rather nondescript one-way street, but starting about 6 o'clock in the evening, it becomes a wild pedestrian walking street. Early in the evening, it is still comparatively calm, but after 10 p.m., anticipate to be among a large group of people. Most of the time, you will pass a large number of open-faced beer bars on either side. The goal of the women at every bar is to get you to order a drink. Women typically display a menu with the costs of the drinks while standing in front of the bar. Some women show off their amazing pole and acrobatic dancing skills, while others dance on counters. Take a seat someplace and talk to the ladies. They're extremely amiable and keep an eye on the crowd. It's laid back and reasonably priced. In Phuket, live music venues are popular. You can witness live concerts for the cost of a beer, and the musician's overall quality has significantly improved with time, sound, and lighting equipment. New York Live Music Bar has replaced the venerable Rock City. The renowned Hard Rock Cafe, a little outside of Patong's core, has great bands and artists, but is more expensive. Famous pubs including Aussie Bar, Sunset Bar, Shipwreck, and U2 Bar can be found near Bangla's beach end. Here, all you can do is drink and observe the people going by. These are frequently the greatest spots to play a few games of snooker and watch sporting events on big screens. Along Bangla Road, there are several bars that come and go, but other establishments like Aussie Bar have been there for decades or more. These bars typically consist of merely tables and chairs with an open facade that lets patrons sit and observe the people moving up and down the streets. A few women are always waiting outside, and their duty is to invite you to sit at their bar instead of the next one. They frequently have a card with the cost of the drinks on it. In addition to pool tables and TVs above the bars where customers may watch sporting events, several bars also have live music. Bangla has a good number of nightclubs, but they come and go, and even the most well-known ones might disappear overnight, regardless of how well-liked they are. The majority of clubs are located at the top of Bangla Road, where you may spend a significant amount of time at Taipan, Sugar Club, and Elysian. The Hollywood Club, 
which was formerly a hip location but lost some of its notoriety to competition, is located closer to the ocean. Elysian, which began as a stage show with a discotheque, quickly rose to prominence as Phuket's most well-liked nightclub. Elysian has remained at the forefront of the party because to its large dance floor, strong sound system, and regular foreign DJs. Barfunk Phuket is a big, roomy place that can accommodate more than 1,000 people. It features marble pillars, chandeliers, and lofty ceilings with a Renaissance-inspired design. There is a VIP area with couches and tables, and the dance floor is spacious and open. Sugar Club is well known for its sophisticated and fashionable ambience, cutting-edge lighting and music systems, roomy dance floors, and VIP sections for those who prefer to celebrate in style. Hip-hop music is the speciality of Sugar Club, where world-class DJs and live artists frequently take the stage. The club has multiple bars that serve a variety of cocktails and high-end drinks in addition to the dance floor. In contrast to Patbong, Bangkok, Bangla Road in Padong is not notorious for scams or rip-offs. There is no admission fee here. Depending on the bar, all you have to do is order a drink, which should cost 180 to 200 baht. Moulin Rouge, a Russian go-go that is more costly than normal and unfriendly, is the sole known exception. Before placing your order, you will receive the menu with the prices clearly shown. You can pay for your drink when the waitress brings it, or you can wait until your bill arrives. There shouldn't be any surprises, in contrast to several locations in Pat Pong, Bangkok. Suzy Wong's, the most well-known and well-liked pub in Padong, was one of the first to open in Phuket at the very end of Soy Sea Dragon. The ambience of the gathering is distinctive and unforgettable. The same Soy Sea Dragon is home to the spacious and upscale lounge bar, Harem. Both the music and the design are excellent. The women are nice and friendly. You'll feel like a VIP because to the style, yet the drink prices are no more than in any other lounge. The newest and most stylish pub in Padong is Suzy Wong's 3, which features terracotta warriors both indoors and out with decor with a Chinese theme. The atmosphere is great and ideal for celebrating and partying, with the most beautiful women in town and live DJs playing music. Thanks for watching this video. If you would like to see more as they are released, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button too, please.